Hi viewers and welcome to the channel and welcome to another free CAD video. In this video we'll be looking at using a sketch that's in a separate file and pulling that sketch into your main project. So that sketch will be used like a template or some kind of logo or branding or something that you reuse constantly in your projects. What we'll do is take that sketch from that file, we'll link it to your main project file. So you can see here we have this body here and this part that is padded out is an actual sketch. This sketch actually lives in another project, which is here. It's another file, if I double click that sketch, I can get to the sketch and double click it. And if I add anything to this sketch, so if I add simple square in there, click close, come back to my project and just hit edit, refresh. You can see that part has been padded straight away in there. So any amendments I make to this sketch will get reflected in my main project. This is great if you've got anything that reoccurs in your sketch. If you've got some kind of template or part you often use in there and you just want to reuse it for each of your projects or a number of projects. So we'll be looking into that, how I do that. We'll be using the part design, the sketcher and something called a link to link these two each other. We'll also be using the binder tool. What can be used to bind that sketch to that part and allow for those changes to come through. So let's have a look at this technique in more detail. If you like this video, please hit a like and also subscribe to the channel. I also have a Ko-Fi site where you can actually donate to my contributions to the community and that's at ko-fi.com slash mang0. So for this video, I'm gonna start a new project, but we're just gonna have a look to see what we've got there at the moment. We have two files. We have the main project file and what I call a template file, which only has one sketch in there. We could use multiple sketches in there. If you want to place all your templates in one file or all your geometry in one file and just pick from there, almost like a catalog. So we could have enough sketch in there and pull that in. And that all lives in that single file. Then we have what I call a project file. This is where we pull in the sketch and use that in our existing project and either integrate that sketch into another body or build on that sketch. So in there we have a body which if we look back at the history, if I hide that pad and hide the sketch in there, you can see that I first create a pad from a simple sketch of a square. I then created a pocket, again, using a simple sketch of a square, which is pocketed out of there. We then get into pulling in the sketch so you can see the sketch is here. If I just hide the body, this sketch is here. If I double click on it, we can edit these if we so desire. So for instance, change this to 40 and that will take effect. If I close that now, you can see that sketch has taken effect there. If we look in our original file and go to that, our sketch is saying 40. So the changes that we made from our main project get reflected in that sketch there and vice versa. If we make changes in this sketch, it gets reflected back over. But how do we get these into this body? Well, we use this binder to actually bind the sketch into our body. And we've got the sketch here and you can see there's something different here you can see we've got a sketch icon, but we have some additional graphics added to that. And these are link graphics. So what I'm going to do is create a new document and just show you the process for actually getting in a link sketch from another file. And close all these. And we're going to create a new document. Now this is going to be the sketch file that I'm going to use. In here, I'm gonna create a simple sketch. And this is just gonna be something very simple. 
can do it along the X, Y plane. I'm going to hit OK. New sketch in there. And I'm just going to create a square. I'm not going to worry about constraints because this is just for example. And I'm going to place a circle in there. So a very simple sketch there. So we've got this one here. Now, at this point, you must save the sketch. So it must sit on your hard disk somewhere. So go up to File, Save. And I'm going to call this FreeCAD. I'm going to say this is my sketch collection. Because I can have one or more sketches in there, if I so desire. So I can build up a sketch collection in there to use. Or I even can build up models in there and use those. So let's save that. That's now saved. And we've got our template or our collection ready to use. I'm going to create a new file now. I haven't closed down this original file. I've just created a new one. So they sit in our combo view. Before I start, I'm going to file, save this new file. And this is going to be my project. I've already got something in there called my project. I'm just going to overwrite that. So I've got my sketches and now I'm starting my project. I'm going to jump into the part design. And from here, I'm going to create a body by either using the tasks or the icons on the toolbar here. Create a new body. And in there, I'm just going to create a new sketch. I'm going to place it along the XY plane and hit OK. And I'm just going to create a simple body in here. Very similar to what our demonstration showed. Hit close. We'll pad that up. Hit OK. And again, I'm going to select this face and create a sketch upon there. So I've mounted the sketch on this face and I'm going to create another square in here. Again, I'm look, looking at constraints or anything. I'm just doing this quickly. So we've got our sketch that sits on the top of there. We're just going to pocket that by about five millimeters and hit OK. Now, if I come over to the model, you can see I've got the body with the pocket in there. I want to pull in my sketch so I can pad it inside here. We've got our sketch in here. So how do we get this sketch referenced in here? Well, we use something called a link. This is available from this toolbar that runs in virtually every single workbench that you see. You'll see this toolbar appear up here. It's got some main tools on there. You can get it from the assembler, the part, etc. And obviously in the part design, which we're using at the moment. To use this link tool, we need to make sure that we have the sketch selected over here. And we've got to utilize these tabs. Click the sketch. Then we go back to our sketch collection. So this is the template that you want to pull in. Now we've got to go in and select our project file, but we mustn't select it from here. We have to select it from the tabs. And there is a reason for that because we need to keep this sketch selected in our project to actually import it. If I select that tab that runs along the bottom, we go into our project file. In the background, you can see our document folder has collapsed, but our sketch is still selected. Don't click on anything inside here, otherwise you will lose that selection and this process won't work. Come straight up to the link tool. Click on that link tool. You'll see the sketch has been pulled in down here. And if we have a look, you can see the sketches on the bottom there. So we've actually pulled in the sketch into our project. The trouble is we can't use this sketch at the moment. We have to use it with a binder. If I try to bring this sketch into the body, you'll see we can't actually do that. The minute I pick it up and try to drop it in there, our icon changes saying that we cannot do this operation. If 
if you highlight the sketch and make sure that the body is active by right clicking on the body going toggle active body at the moment I've only got one body in here so it is active it's bold we can also double click on it and that will make it active making sure that's active make sure our sketch is selected and come up to this tool here the green binder tool which is create a sub objects shape binder also available from part design and this option here when you click that what happens inside the body a binder will appear and if we click on the binder you can see our support is the link to sketch 002 which we imported if we now bring this around you'll see something different Let's hide the body by clicking on it and pressing spacebar. You can see we've got the sketch there. Everything under here will be hidden because we've hidden the body. Let's click on the body and bring it back. This time let's click on the sketch and press the spacebar. You can see we've got a shape binder sitting on the bottom here. It's quite hard to see because we've got the pocket that sits here. I press the spacebar. You can see that quite easily there. From this, we can actually do a pad. If I click on it and press pad sketch, you'll see how that's padded in there. And we can add the padding as we so desire. We'll also do a pocket in there if we so desire. But we can see that the shape binder has created the pad from the bottom there. All we need to do is click on the binder and change its position by coming down to the placement and change the position. And we're going to bring it up on the Z axis. So we can click on the Z axis, press the up or down keys. And what we need to do is either hit Control R or click off, and you'll see that will move. So let's move this up by a couple of millimeters. See so it's vanished there and it's sitting on top of here. Now we've got the sketch in our project and it's all padded up. We can now change that sketch if we so desire. Come back into the original sketch. Find your sketch, double click on it. And we can change this. So for instance, I'm going to add a square in here and use the trim tool and trim parts of this square away, like so. It's going to delete this part. I'm going to hit close, and I'm just going to hit Control S or File Save. Now, when we go back to our project, we can go Edit, Refresh, and the changes have taken effect there. I find it's always best to edit the main sketch because this is the original sketch allowing the changes to take effect in your project. Come back to the project, edit, refresh and you can see those changes have taken effect there. So that's a simple way of using a template such as logos, branding, etc., in your projects as a reusable part to include them into your builds that you're currently doing. So I hope you found that useful, and I'll see you again soon. If you like what you're seeing, please subscribe to my site, and also I have a Ko-Fi site where you can actually donate a few pence or a few pounds, dollars, or whatever your currency is, and that's at ko-fi.com slash mang0. And there you'll be able to help me fund my site and all the money that I actually get from any funds will actually get pushed back into the channel. Thanks a lot for watching and subscribing. I'll see you next time.